Dr. Manjanath, first of all, what were the key challenges and strategies in transforming Jaideva into a top cardiac care center? And how did you balance affordability with excellence? Yeah, first of all, many thanks for your invitation to be this unique model of uh, uh, conference because uh, this is where we have to take it forward. All the time we are talking about technology, explosions of technology and uh, regarding market forces. This is one unique uh, meeting. The agenda was uh, regarding longevity and prevention and uh, because uh, prevention is always better than cure and precaution is still the best. So that is the unique model. This sort of meetings we should have rather than discussing about only diseases and diseases because uh, this is one thing. And this creates a lot of awareness among the people. The awareness program is very, very important. And uh, because there is no happiness in medicine, but there is medicine in happiness. That's a very popular saying. So, and we have to take care of uh, an extension, of course, uh, this discussion, I will, before getting into the actual discussion, uh, there are, uh, we have to take care of six yes, that is salt, stress, spirit, smoking, and uh, physical activity and sugar and salt, I mean, sorry, sugar. Sedentary life, salt, stress, spirit, sedentary activity, and sugar, and smoking. These are these things. And uh, as we discussed, anyway, uh, see, uh, today nearly 35% of healthcare services is given by the public sector. Another 65% is given by uh, the private sector, only 35% by the public sector. So we need to work in tandem. So that is very important. See, in a public uh, institution, uh, one of the biggest challenges, okay, one is on the infrastructure side, and the second is uh, there will be a lot of inertia. So one of the biggest challenge in an in institution is to really uh, manage people. Managing people is one of the biggest thing. Managing uh, because they have a different mindset, they have different culture, and to bring a corporate culture in a government setup, it is an extremely a difficult uh, task, and this is where the leadership matters. We have to take uh, everybody together, that's very, very important. And most important, you should allow space to grow in the organization. So you should allow, because, uh, okay, with your talent, uh, with your hard work, with your skill, you can reach the top position, that's fine. To remain in the top position for a longer time, your attitude and your behavior and all those things matters. So another important thing is uh, one of the biggest incentive for the growth of an organization is non-interference. That is one of the biggest incentive, whether it is a government institution or whether it's a private institution, non-interference is one of the uh, biggest incentive for the growth of an organization. And uh, the most impo another important thing in a public uh, thing is, uh, see, uh, in, uh, yesterday I was talking in the parliament about uh, the same topic. Uh, what happens, yes, our focus always in a government setup, what happens is only on construction, construction of an hospital or construction of a medical college. But uh, we have to change, there has to be a transition from construction to creation of posts from creation of post to recruitment. So what is happening, we are focusing only on construction. Yes, fantastic physical structure will come, but where, where, is, where are the posts? So this is where we have to really balance. And uh, we have to create an atmosphere of ownership in a public institution. That is, again, a leadership. Oh, people should be strong. And there has to be some mechanism of decentralization and also uh, decentralization mechanism should be there. You should not uh, try to really uh, centralize the whole thing as head of the organization. You have to give some freedom and you should also take everybody together. You should be a great listener. You should be a great listener. A listener is a leader. That's what right. a popular saying is, says. And another important thing is uh, you have to have a good rapport with the, you should have a good rapport with the uh, government. That's very, very important. Many time I have realized a lot of good things can be done with the goodwill of the bureaucrats. The goodwill you have with the bureaucrats uh, will have, we can have a lot of impact. 
because when I took over Jayadeva Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences in 2006, the bed strength was 300. Today we reach 2,000 cardiac beds exclusively for cardiac care, nowhere uh, in this thing. Nowhere in India we have a cardiac institute with 2,000 cardiac beds. See, the problem is, yes, with government grants alone is not sufficient to run a public institution because they have a fixed grant. So this is wherein we have brought in a, a pr public-private partnership. Three P's we call it as, public-private partnership. See, the other two P's will come if the first P is strong, if public institution is strong. And uh, we roped in about 50 charitable organizations to support the uh, treatment. But uh, of course, uh, most important is if they are convinced whatever donations they give, whatever uh, the uh, philanthropic activity they do, if they are convinced if it is going for a right cause, then only funds will flow. So in fact, uh, one of the biggest thing I have to mention here, our Infosys Foundation Chairman Sudha Murthy and Narayan Murthy, uh, they have built in a 350-bedded world-class cardiac hospital in the same premises and handed over to us. So they asked me one question. Manjunath, uh, how much of uh, tenure is left as a director for you? At that time, it was three years. Then they said, we are going to build because we have a strong faith on you and trust on you. So then uh, November 2021, this facility was handed over to us, November 20, 21st. November 24th, we started working with full faculty. So, mm. so these are some of the important things. And again, uh, we have to bring some amendments because government rules uh, are a lot of uh, throttling effect. Uh, just for example, uh, in fact, we are the first institution in the country to introduce an incentive scheme uh, to prevent brain drain among the faculty in 2007 itself. This was based on performance, productivity, and punctuality. There was a lot of opposition from the government. No, Manjanath, if you ask, even institu other institution will ask, other medical colleges will ask. So then I told them, no, you just put a rider. You give permission to start an incentive scheme, not from government grants. It is only subject to effective internal resource mobilization. Then nobody will blame. So as because the mindset of our people is you give even 10 lakh salary, they are not, I mean, they don't talk about salary. You give just 50,000 in incentive, they only talk about that 50,000 uh, incentives and all. Then uh, other thing is uh, creation of post, I will tell you, that is the biggest challenge in a public sector. They always approve. Uh, so this is where when a government clears a project, whether it's a medical college or a multi-speciality hospital or a super-speciality hospital, in the same cabinet decision, the post should be approved. Otherwise, you have to go around and uh, those things and all. Right, sir. Then promotions should be given on time. That is the only way we can help our, keep them in good spirit. What I have done, if somebody is eligible for promotion on Saturday, I had given them on Friday. So I have given them on Friday and we have created more units. You don't believe that institution today has 125 cardiologists, uh, only one single institution, 125 cardiologists, 60 cardiac surgeons and 50 cardiac anesthetists. So and again, we have to follow a lot of uh, roster system, we have to follow, we have to follow reservation, uh, but still these are uh, some right, of the... Sir. Thank and you very much. I think another have... thing, uh, handling the crowd is a biggest challenge right. because 95% uh, walks into the hospital without appointment and you don't believe 1,500 to 2,000 outpatients. Daily you used to do 1,000 echoes, 900 echocardiograms and 200 angiogram angioplasty put together daily. And what I did was because uh, we also opened what is called special ward, deluxe ward, and also uh, what is called single window uh, mass rail checkup area. Why I did was uh, hospital, uh, because people perception is government hospital is only for the poor. So I created a system where it's also an hospital for the rich, elite class, and VIPs, and that was acting like a cross subsidy. 
So we are charging those group, and that was serving as a cross subsidy to the uh, poor people develop. And uh, I also built up a poor patient corpus fund. Uh, when I took over, it was about five lakhs. When I left the institution, it was 150 crores. 150 crores poor patient was built, and the interest generated was spent towards uh, the uh, poor people. And I saw to that nobody should go. Of course, during my t tenure, 8 lakh procedures were conducted. 8 lakh procedures including open heart surgeries to uh, cath lab interventions, angioplasty and stent. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, no patient has gone untreated for the want of money. Uh, that That's, I, I think, yeah. the main...